video, we determined that this uh, VXT uh, needed to have the valve rebuilt. So I'm going to have my assistant do that while I film. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is turn off the power. And I would, yeah, be double safe, particularly since this is 120 volts. And then the next thing we need to do is um, make sure that the water is shut off. Yep. Okay. So the water... So that's on, yeah, Go. Uh, that's, there you go, that's off, and then you want to shut the other one off, yeah. Most of the time you don't have that downstream valve, you definitely have to have an upstream valve. All right, he's using a Phillips to um, take out those uh, Phillips head sheet metal screws, which holds the VXT electronics uh, to um, the bracket, and you set those aside where they can be lost. We always try to have extras. Um, and there we go. Hold this because this once this is going to fall before you loosen it up. Then go ahead and pull off the tabs holding the power to the to the um, yeah. There you go. Wiggle them off. There you go. One. And then two. There we go. And the electronics can be uh, set aside. There you are. There you are. And then, um, yeah, go ahead and set that electronics aside if you can. Maybe um, put it down on the, nah, that might fall off there. It's probably going to fall off. I'd put it on the boiler. Just, uh, just, don't worry. Just keep, just head to the I'm boiler. Disconnect that. You can, sure. All right. There we are. Just put it right on the boiler there. There you go. All right, so definitely we know the electronics. Uh, power is off and now we want to get that bot the bottom screw I think yeah because that's attaching the um, solenoid and underneath there is a little plastic wafer which likes to drop away and disappear um, it's a number 10 nylon so if you look you can actually get replacements at Home Depot Sometimes. There we are. All right. And then um, those other, yeah, those other uh, quarter inch. Also going to be freaking tight. <clears throat> yeah. Got it. All right, good. All right, so that bracket's going to want to come away. There you go. All righty. So now uh, that that little thing just pops right off. Watch out! Inside is going to be water, a spring, and a bobbin. So that can be set aside. Careful. Um, yeah, just put that aside. Okay, and there is our diaphragm disc. Now, usually what I like to do is you can take a small screwdriver or a pen knife and peel. Um, that's embedded in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here or? Um, right at the edge, right where it comes to the edge of the uh, brass there. Yeah, that's it. 
have to dig in there and kind of pry that out because that doesn't want to come out and you have to convince it that it will. That's it. That's it. There you go. Yeah. Watch yourself. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> Although with that knife, the way I've sharpened it, it's... <laughs> yeah, you're doing fine. And it's... Yeah, it's 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 grooved in there. There you go. That's it. I didn't want to damage it. So. That, no, the disc is 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 toast. Okay. Don't worry about the disc. The disc is not a problem. And you can see that's really well calcified up. I want to show you the disc there. Let me show you the back side. Thank you. Hand that to me. Thank you for your patience. Um, so what tends to happen is the two little holes. There's a, there's a big hole in the middle, and then there's two little holes. Um, let's see if I can see it there. One there and one there. And I think you can see that they have calcified over, and so that's causing this to not cycle close. And that's what happens. So now we have that little fella there. So... Suggestion is to get the uh, bronze brush and um, just start uh, cleaning that off. Yeah. So this might take a while. So I am going to uh, stop the video and um,